Hello, and welcome to the Budget Knitter Podcast channel. My name is Will Sparger. I am your host. I am coming to you from Henderson, Nevada, where I live with my two dogs, Princess and Duchess. And today is something I haven't done in a little while, but I wanted to get back into the groove of doing, and I am coming to you with another yarn review. So one of the things, if you are new here, that I like to do on this channel is to do reviews of budget-friendly items, because I am the Budget Knitter, um, <laughs> despite what some of my social media says now. Um, anyway, I still like to think about the best, uh, what I can do for the blah. Y'all know what I'm saying, I've been here long enough. <laughs> anyway, um, I like to try and do the most that I can for the least amount of money, um, in the best possible quality. Uh, so one of the things that I've done, I've reviewed Karen Simply Soft, I've reviewed Karen Cakes, and I think I've reviewed Loops... Loops and Threads Wool Like, which is a great fingering weight yarn. It's like the only kind of, other than like Peyton's Croy, which is specifically a sock yarn, I don't really know of many other true fingering or heavy lace weight yarns that are acrylic or mass produced and relatively affordable. Most of the fingering weight yarns I know of are all hand dyeds. So, um, I th I've reviewed a few yarns, but today what we're going to do is another one of my favorites from Michaels, because of course, we are going to do another Karen Cake family member, that is the Karen Big Cakes. The Karen Big Cakes are basically the Karen Cakes, but bigger. Uh, one of the main differences is that Karen Cakes actually does have some wool in it, some natural fiber. Karen Big Cakes does not. It's 100% acrylic. Um, okay, so the one that I have here I found at a Michaels I don't normally shop at, and this one is called Cookie Crumble. It is definitely... I love... I'm kind of on a neutral kick, which is weird, because I really love color. I don't know, I did my year of color for 2018, and I really did a lot of brown. Like, a lot of brown. Anyway, so a little bit about the yarn, and then I'll give my opinion on it. <laughs> I should know these specs off the top of my head, but I don't. Uh, again, this one's called Cookie Crumble. It is 100% acrylic. It is a medium for worsted weight yarn. It is 300 grams, 10.5 ounces, and it's approximately 603 yards or 551 meters. It is, I think I said it was machine washable and dryable already, but it's worth repeating. And let's see, it call, uh, the, the gauge stuff that's on the band anyway, because we all know gauge is different. For It says for US 8 needles, which are 5 millimeter needles, it is 17 stitches and 23 rows for a 4 inch by 4 inch or 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square. If you're using a crochet hook, it is a US H8 or 5 millimeter hook. It is 13 single crochets and 14 rows for a 4 inch by 4 inch or 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square. Uh, so that's the gauge on that. Um, so one of the things that I love about Karen Cakes is how much you can get for your money. When this isn't on sale, it's $9.99 at my local Michaels. When it is on sale, it's usually $7.99, which I think is a great deal. But on top of that, if you are watching the coupons and the different sales, of course Michaels has huge sales on just about everything, and a lot of the big holidays, the yarn will go on sale as well. And then they'll also have coupons for percentages off your entire purchase, including sale items. Um, most of the time the coupons only work on one regular priced item, so if you go happen to go to Michael's on a day when the yarn is regularly priced, grab that 40% or 50% and sometimes 60% coupon, grab whatever's on the app or in the periodical, what do they call that, the periodical thing, that, the listicle, isn't that an online thing? Never mind. The, the ad that comes in your newspaper every week, there's usually a coupon in there if you don't have the app or you don't, um, I think you can get them just on your computer too, you can print it out. Um, or if you shop there regularly, just keep the coupon that they print off for you. Uh, anyway, so grab that coupon, run down to Michael's, grab one of these or two of these. Actually, I think this past week, Karen Cakes were like, buy two, get one free. I know on Sunday, loops and all loops and threads yarn was buy one, get one free. Uh, and I have a story about that, but it's probably going to go in the podcast because it's a find. Uh, anyway, so my opinion of this is that this is a very nice soft acrylic yarn. 
I love the self-striping qualities. I love that it's also speckled. It carries a lot of the other colors through all of the different stripes. The darkest color is the one that has the least amount of speckling, but the white, so on this one, the white, it's got the grays and the blacks in it. And so it looks really, really nice. It looks hand done, uh, hand painted, hand speckled. So that's one of the things that I really like about the yarn is it's got that luxury look with the price of affordable. <laughs> and working with it, it's not really that rough. It definitely doesn't squeak. And one of the other things that I do love about it is because it's machine washable and dryable, a lot of people don't believe me. When you first knit it up, it's still a little stiff. It is a little stiff when everything is first knit. But if you take that and then you put it through your regular wash and dry cycle, it softens up like crazy. It's it's amazing how well it does and how well it holds up. It blocks out really well with steam blocking. It is definitely one of my favorite yarns for larger pieces. You guys will know that I knit my very first flax sweater out of Karen Big Cakes in the Cranberry Crisp colorway. And so now I am actually knitting a poncho out of this. It is my own design. And actually, because I like to show you something that I've done with the yarn, this. This poncho, which is my original design, I designed this poncho using Karen Big Cakes yarn. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces. It is actually the pattern I'm working on it right now. It is actually for bistitual people. So if you are a knitter and a crocheter, this garment is for you because you knit the piece flat and then you knit the collar in the round and then you crochet the edge pieces together and then you crochet this border on. Now the pattern will include some knit a knit border and for people who just knit. But the other thing is that I have a matching poncho just like this, also in Karen Big Cakes, and it is a crocheted version of this poncho. So for all of you fiber crafty people, one of the I have this poncho design for you. Um, I don't have the pon the crochet poncho right now, it's hanging up. But um, this is one of the things that I have knit out of Karen Big Cakes. It's soft, it's lofty, it moves. It's, um, well, it's acrylic, so it's not incredibly breathable, but it did keep me warm when I needed it. Um, this, it really is a great yarn. I love how it's striped. I love how it came out. This is definitely one of my favorite yarns. So I'm knitting another one of these ponchos, but in this colorway. So this is a really, really great yarn. Definitely one of my favorites. So again, at Michael's, $9.99 regular price, sometimes on sale for $7.99, but grab those coupons because, girl, they help so much. And I, I really can't recommend this enough, especially if you have a fiber allergy and you've been shying away from Karen Cakes. Karen Big Cakes is great for you because it is 100% acrylic, 100% acrylic, but you're going to get the same look. And I guarantee once it goes through the wash, you're going to love the way it feels. I definitely love how this feels, and I actually wear this on a regular basis. So um, if I wear this on a regular basis, that's saying something. Anyway, so that's my review of Karen Big Cakes. I hope you'll check it out. If you haven't, if you have, tell me what one of your favorite projects that you've made with Karen Big Cakes is in the comment section below. All right, I will see you all again very, very soon here on the Budget Knitter Podcast channel with an upcoming podcast and a few other possible surprises coming up, so stay tuned. All right, I'm going to go, and I will see you all again very soon.